All right, guys, I am here with one of the big time FOHs in the House of Worship scene. He, uh, he's out all the time with Lincoln Brewster. Today he's here with us at NAM. Please welcome Lee Fields. Hey, how you? thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Uh, you just got done doing your open mix session demonstration. You talked about a lot of cool stuff. Why don't you give us a little rundown of when, what you went over? Yeah, so I'm a live sound guy, so um, being able to use Waves plugins live is a lot different. And we had a Pro Tools session here, so I basically took my live console and created a session in Pro Tools to emulate that. So real simple, just input by input, like our input list on the road, and then applied the plugins that I would use on certain inputs here in Pro Tools and, and shared that with everybody. Cool. Well, I'm sure something uh, everyone wants to know is which plugins did you use? Uh, so on drums, it was a lot of API and NLS. I really love, uh, love, love, love API. And then we talked a lot about vocals, and I used C6, 1176, and NLS in that order. And then we talked about uh, vocal effects, which my heart is uh, very much for vocal effects, especially live, um, and especially in church live, because I feel like a lot of times uh, guys don't use it at all or maybe not enough. So we did a lot with IR live today for some uh, verb, some nice lexicon-esque uh, reverbs, and then some H delay. Well, what are you using on the bus compression for drums? Because that's a something question that we get a lot. Yeah, so I'm not doing parallel compression. I'm sending all the drums to a bus, and then I use API 2500. Uh, like a low ratio, thanks to Chris Lord Algie's insight on a, a video he did talking about low ratios. So I just use it to just kind of squeeze the drum kit a little. Again, not parallel. That would be a, a different uh, approach for compression, but API 2500 and NLS even after that on the group as well. When you're doing a mix live, and are, are you working similarly to how you would, you know, sort of do a mix in the studio as far as your plug-in choices and your tone colors in that way, or? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm being influenced by great records that I grew up listening to and um, and influence, even by new records I listen to now and what, I, the, all that stuff's influencing me. So being a live guy, being able to use the plugins, it's like exciting and fun. It's like, it's like I'm on a playground, right? So I'm all the time, you know, watching videos and seeing what uh, great studio mix engineers who have been here all week, it's been awesome to meet some of them, figuring out what they do to vocals, what they do to drums, and then I get to try and use them live. It's like, that's amazing. So let's talk for a second uh, about NLS, because that, that plugin, you know, there's a lot of different things going on there, a lot of choices to be made. Um, you know, whether to use uh, the channel, the bus, both. Uh, you've got, of course, three different choices. Uh, you got the, the Spike Sten SSL model. Yeah. You've got the EMI board from uh, Mike Hedges and the knee board from Yoad Naveau. And uh, what, do, what is your method with that? Are you mixing and matching? Um, are you, how are you using it? Yeah, I'm totally mixing and matching. I'll audition all of them. So if I'm on a snare drum, I'll turn it on, hit the first one, and just start turning it up until I like it. Hit the second one, turn it up until I like it. Hit the third one, turn it up until I like it. And then just pick one. So you may find a combination of all of that, and then even in different amounts on all the different inputs. I think I had NLS on every channel. Because like the cumulative effect for me is pretty amazing. You can definitely hear a difference A, B, in one channel. But then when you throw it on everything, it's like, wow. That's like the big difference for me. Which makes sense, because I mean, for anybody that, that doesn't know what we're talking about here, NLS stands for um, nonlinear summer. So it is, that's the whole point. It, it is modeling the, the summing of the consoles uh, that are included. So you talked about a lot of great plugins, um, but of course it's Nam, and we got some of the new, new stuff that's out. Have you had a chance to look at anything, anything new? Yeah, I'm really excited about the MGO from the, the DigiGrid. It, it'll basically allow me to use multi-rack now, I think on any console that has optical input. So if I'm on SSL or if I'm on a Digico, uh, any of that, now I can have Waves plugins anywhere I go. So for me, like that's now a, a huge tool in the toolbox for me. Great, well thank you so much for being here with us today. It's been wonderful talking with you, wonderful seeing your session, and uh, we look forward to having you back. Cool, thanks guys.